Welcome to Toontown! Oh, oh, that was so weird. Are, are you guys excited, excited to be here? here? Okay, I'm back again. Are you excited to be here? Oh, man, I'm so excited to be here. My name is Hannah. My name is Colin. And we are so excited and happy to be the ones to start off this day and the rest of the, the week to all the fun that we're going to do to, uh, this weekend today. Colin, what are you most excited for? Oh, there's so many things. We have games, oh, we have yeah. crafts, we oh, have yeah. Bible station, oh, we have yeah. worship, yeah. drama. Uh -huh. There's too, I, I can't decide. You're right. No, I totally get it. There's so much that's prepared for you guys. It's going to be so much fun. By the way, have you guys noticed the decorations? Isn't it pretty cool? Don't you feel like you're like inside a castle? Like the bridge that you saw? When I think of castles, what do you guys think of? I think of like... Princes and princesses, battles, sword fights. Oh, whoa, 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 uh, an armor. Oh, that reminds me, we're going to be learning about the armor of God this week and how we're going to put that armor of God on to be followers of Jesus. Oh, speaking of, man, when we are strong or how we have strength, we, you actually know, the question is, do you know what the strongest animal is in the planet? Do you guys know? Yell it out if you think you know. Wait, what? What's the strongest animal on the planet? Oh, yeah, elephants. Did you know they have like 10,000 muscles? That's a lot of muscles. Which reminds me of the first game we're going to do called Elephant, Elephant Knockdown. Knockdown. All right, we're going to have some contestants come up and we're going to do some fun games to start off our day. Here we go. Here's our, some of our leaders. Oh, everybody give them a hand. So how this game works, guys, listen up. How this game works is they're gonna put this pantyhose on top of their head, all right? And there's gonna be a ball at the end of it. And they have to swing their head around and try to knock down as many towers as they can, all right? Just like a strong elephant maybe would, all right? They might look a little silly, but you guys have to cheer them on, okay? Here we go. You guys ready? <laughs> Hey, don't laugh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, oh, all right. Let's uh, let's grab some mics and kind of introduce some of these leaders. Okay, all can right. you say your name and the grade you're crew your leading? My name is Cody. I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. What, what? Two, oh, what grade oh, are you teaching? Uh, fourth grade. Fourth, fourth grade, make some noise. Yeah. <laughs> One fourth grader. Okay. What's the next person? Um, I'm Isaiah, and I am serving second grade. You're teaching second graders! Oh, you gotta give them, you gotta hype them up, guys. You gotta give them encouragement, okay? All right, last person. I'm Allison. What is your name? Oh, I'm Allison, and I'm in third grade. Allison, third and you're grade. teaching third graders! Yeah, third grade! These are your leaders, guys. They're gonna represent you. And so if they win, gives you guys a, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a good job, all right? All right, you guys ready? On your mark, get set, go! Try to knock as many down as you can. Don't use your hands. Go, 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 Oh, you got one. Drop your head. You got one. Knock him down. Oh, you got, got one. one. Don't touch here. Oh, that's a one. That's two over there. Here we go. Second oh, you got on. one left. One left. One left. Oh, one, one. Oh! oh. What is it, you fourth? teach second grade, right? Oh, fourth. Oh, sorry. Fourth graders. Give it up for you later. Woo! High five, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yes, all right, you guys can just take that off and move to the side. All right, thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, this kind of reminds me of a verse that we're supposed to learn this week. Colin, can you help me out? What's the verse we're supposed to learn this week? So the verse is Ephesians 6.10. But to remember, can we have everyone stand on your feet? 
Okay. Everyone, stand on your feet. We're gonna stand learn on your this feet. verse stand together. Feet. All right, everybody, get on your feet. And Colin's going to do a demonstration, and we're going to follow along with him, okay? So just first do it first. Just do it by yourself first, all right? Okay? Stop, clap, stop, clap, clap. Stop, clap, stop, clap, go. Be strong in the Lord. And in his mighty power. Ephesians 6, 10. Okay, we're all going to do it together. So the verse, if you guys can't remember, just look at the back of someone's shirt. It's actually right there. All right, it says, it says be strong in the Lord and in its mighty power, Ephesians 6, 10. Okay, we're going to do it all together now. Let's see. I'm going to keep an eye out. Let's see who can do this well. Here we go. Colin, start us off. Go. Here we go. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. And in his mighty power. Ephesians 6, 10. All right, you guys are kind of getting it, and I'm kind of getting it too. But we will keep learning that this week and see which grade can maybe do it the best, all right? Which then reminds me, you know, strength is not just about physical strength, you know? Strength also actually is shown through faith. Faith takes a lot of strength. Which then reminds me of the next game we're going to do called Treasure Hunt. All right, the next contestants come up. Next leaders, come on up, come on up. Yeah, everyone give them a pod. All right, Colin, why don't you introduce this game for us? Okay, so in this game, we have, can you show the whipped Ooh, cream? Ooh, this looks delicious. Whipped cream. It's whipped cream. But inside the whipped cream, there are M&Ms. Oh, Hidden treasure. M&Ms. M&Ms are the treasures. Hidden treasure. The fine. So the game. So what our leaders are going to do is they're going to look through the whipped cream without using their hands, find all M&Ms, and put them into this bowl. So let's start by introducing our leaders. First we have Jake. Oh, uh, they're great. Third grade, make some noise for teacher Jake! Third grade! Third grade, third grade. Eileen, and I'm teaching second grade. Eileen and... Second graders, make some noise for second Eileen! Second grade, leader, Eileen! All right, guys, you guys put, have to put your hands behind your back and just your face. The more M&Ms wins. Ready, set, set go! Go, go, Here we go, 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 Jake, go. go Let me hold your hair back, let me hold your hair back. Oh, no, oh, no. You gotta oh, go deep, you gotta go deep. Way. Okay, yeah, yeah, there. go, go, oh, go. Oh, Teacher Jake found one, oh. you got one, you got oh, one. No. Here we go, uh-huh. Oh, there's two, yeah, there's I got two you, in I got there you. somewhere, two, You three. got it, Eileen, come on. Oh, come on, let's rip it up for your leader. Where's your noise, Teacher come Jake? Come on, let's rip up, go. We have three, Eileen, four. Eileen, Eileen, Eileen. Jake, 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 Jake. Eileen, Eileen, Jake has five, Jake has five, six, six. Get ready, ten. Nine, Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two one. one. Stop, 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 no more, no more. Oh, oh, you might need to wash your face later. It's okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Okay, let's count how let's many count Teacher Jake was able to find. We have one, two. Keep going, keep going. Three, four, five, and six. Six. Okay, let's see how many I think got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. <laughs> Good job, Miley! You are the teacher of the third grader? Second grader! <laughs> yeah, get over here, teacher! Woo! Yes! Oh, yeah, that's a little messy. Cool. Oh, but yeah, okay. Wow. We're about to get ready for praise, but yeah, as you can see, it is Toontown Kingdom. So when I say Toontown, you say Kingdom. Ready? Toontown. Kingdom. Toontown. Kingdom. Toontown. Kingdom. Woo! Okay, I'm feeling a little bit hyped up now. Guys, I'm ready to worship. Colin, are you ready to worship? I'm so ready to worship. All right, you guys ready to worship? Woo!
stand together and stand strong for God. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. because he has already won any battle, any war that has been proclaimed. So let's sing this out together. Put your hands ready. Get your hands ready. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but I think you can do it. Try to follow along, okay? Here we go. Okay. Welcome to this place of worship. Welcome to a place where rejoicing reigns. Our God is great and greatly to be praised. Turn it all around. That is going down. Everyone down. 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 Oh, yeah. Because our God is great and greatly to be praised. Shall we turn it up a just a little bit? Here we go. Turn it up till the walls are shaking. We're ready.
it just a little bit. Here we go. Turn it up till the walls are shaking. We're ready now. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Shall we just use your hands? Three hands up in the air. Here we go. Release them. What if we pick it up a notch? All right, here we go. Let's bring the kingdom party right here, right now. Now the party has begun. Come and celebrate this love. Cause our God already won. Now we're dancing to the sound. Nothing is impossible. Let's go. Nothing is impossible. Woo! 
Let's lift up our voices at this time. Do all for things. our Lord, our God, our King.
be safe for Lord your kingdom is eternal. Your kingdom is strong. The Lord is good. The Lord is strong. The Lord is kind. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Amen. Let's have a seat. Show me what you've got. You too, bro. I'm not going easy on you. Edmund, you're getting slow. You wish, William. You're just like I'm going easy on you. Yeah, right. Just can't keep up my moves. Is that so? Let's see about that. Yeah, it was. It's good to have a little fun once in a while. Yeah, it is. Especially because you're not this much free time very soon. Yeah, I know. I can't believe you're already becoming the king tomorrow. Well, the land of Evelor hasn't a king since Dan passed away. It's our responsibility to stand up and lead our people. I know. It's just that so much is changing so fast. But Edmund, we have to stay strong. We can't let more did to our family deter us from protecting the kingdom. You're right. We have a duty to protect Elvalor no matter what. And besides, mom has done enough to cover for me while everyone gets ready for the coronation. It's a lot for her to handle. So it's time for me to step up and do my part. Hey, I'll do my part too. I won't let you do this alone. Leading the kingdom is a huge responsibility. Thanks, Emily. I know Dad's watching us from heaven. It's making him proud. But you do know that you already make him proud, right? Yeah, I hope so. <sighs> oh no! What? Look, the sun's almost down. We're gonna be late for dinner. We have to head back to the castle. <sighs> first one there gets the biggest piece of pie. Hey, not if I get there first. I won! Yeah, but you barely made it. Hello, mother. Oh, there you are, boys. I was starting to get worried. Yeah, uh, sorry for being late. We got a bit carried away with the sword fighting. Yeah, we lost track of time. Oh, it's all right. I understand. Edmund, Priscilla, could you two go set the table for a moment? Yes, mother. William, could I have a word with you? Yeah, of course. I wanted to give you something. This was your father's. He treasured it dearly. Really? Thanks, Mom. I remember seeing him read this every night before bed. Your father was a wise man, William. He was a just and fair ruler who always sought to do what was best for his people. 
And with this Bible, I'm sure you'll do the same when you take over the kingdom. But I don't know if I can be as wise as he was. You have his blood in your veins, William. And with this Bible, you will have God's wisdom at your fingertips. I have no doubt that will be a great source of strength and courage for you. Well, can I be honest with you? Of course, my son. What is on your mind? That was good, really, because he was close to God. He read the Bible every day, and he prayed to God every night before we went to bed. But I'm not close to God like that, and I haven't read the Bible that often. Building a relationship with God is like a journey. Just like your relationship with me or your relationship with your brother, it takes time to build. It's not something that can just happen overnight. But God is a loving and faithful Father who will never leave your side. Just take the first step in faith and hope, and He will do the rest. Thanks, Mom. I'll remember that. Just start praying and reading and listening to the Bible a little at a time. Ask Him for strength and courage. And with God's help, I'm sure you'll become an even better ruler than your father was. Uh, so do you really think so? I know so. Thanks, Mom. I'll cherish it always. Alice, are we there yet? Come on, the queen's expecting us. <sighs> Man, why is so... Oh. Thomas, Alice, what? What did you two get here? Dude, be quiet. William doesn't know we're here yet. We're scared to surprise him. Thomas? Alice? <sighs> there he is, the future king of Elvalor, your majesty. <laughs> your majesty. Wait, aren't you both supposed to be at the Silver Academy in the city? Nobody needs to know that we're here. I wanted to surprise you, so I invited two of your closest friends to attend your coronation tomorrow. Really? Thanks, you guys. Man, I was more. I'm in long time no see. Oh, your majesty. <sighs> Queen Eliza, I missed you and your delicious pies. Oh, I'm glad you're here too, Thomas. Now let us all enjoy our meal and each other's company. <sighs> Priscilla, you may be dismissed. <sighs> Let's go eat, guys. Oh boy, how long has it been since we all got to eat together? Way too long. Indeed. Let us enjoy our meal and each other's company. Thomas, will you do the honors and pray for this meal? Oh, yeah, sure, if you uh, say so. Are you sure about this? Okay, guys, let's pray. Um, God, thank you for this day. And... Um, uh, we pray for Queen Eliza's pies, and um, I guess uh, we also thank her for potatoes. Um, there's no potatoes, but that's fine. Um, uh, we pray for King William. Well, he's not the king yet. He's going to be king soon, so that's all that matters. And I can't wait to eat, so we can spend this time together. And have fellowship, and Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we? So, Will, are you nervous about the coronation tomorrow? Uh, just a little bit. Man, you got nothing to worry about, man. You're, really, you're gonna be the best king ever. Thanks, Thomas. Dude, it feels like it was just yesterday when we were in preschool, and now you're gonna be king? Doesn't that come when you're like old, crusty, and ugly like Edmund? <laughs> Oh, Bro, you're already old and wrinkly. Alice, go take a look in the mirror. Oh! Okay, okay, anyways. Ever since what happened to your family last summer, it's been pretty quiet. But I heard rumors that Mordred might be planning something. Do you think he'll be back anytime soon? I fear it may only be a matter of time before Mordred launches another attack on the kingdom. But this time, we must devise a plan so that he does not succeed. That's why we need a leader who can guide their people. I'm ready to go fight that battle. You know what? Put me in, coach. Let's get oh, it. Oh, settle down. Settle down, you oh. two. We can't just go into battle. We must use our brains first. 
What? How does that work? How do we use our brains against Mordred? No, Thomas. We need to start by gathering information on his plans, movements, and strategies. That way, we can come up with a strategy to counter him. And then we throw our brains? <sighs> no, where are you even getting that from? You're so strange sometimes. Listen to Alice, my son. She is far wiser than you may think. <sighs> Maybe we should throw your brain at them, Alice. <laughs> Mom, do you think we can really beat Mordred this time? Absolutely. We must remain vigilant and never lose hope. But I was wondering what would happen to us if we would try and battle Mordred. We will be able to face whatever comes our way. It says in the scripture, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That's so true. With God on our side, we have nothing to fear. You know what? We're not scared of Mordred. Let's go, guys. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, settle down, you guys. Oh, sorry again, sorry again, sorry. We will do what we must do, but first, let us enjoy each other's company and this meal. Man, this food is delicious. What did you put in this, Eliza? Look at those fools, laughing and eating. <laughs> Can I see? Back off. Only I have access to the magic mirror. Where'd you even get that, my lord? The Amazon? What? It must have been from eBay. What? Apologies, my lord. Enough of your nonsense. Bow deeper. Yes. Tomorrow, William is going to be crowned king. And we cannot let that happen. We've got to get rid of him. We've got to get rid of his brother, just like I got rid of their dad. <laughs> but they are so young, my lord. I bet they can't even hurt a fly. How can you be so naive? Even if we get rid of William, his brother will come back. So we need to get rid of them both. They're going to stop at nothing to get us out of the picture. But if we get rid of them both, the kingdom becomes weak. People will look for a new king. And do you know who that's going to be? Elsa? Oh. Anna and Elsa have nothing on me, you fool. It's going to be me. <laughs> but, but that will probably not work, my lord. You doubt my plans? Well, you see, just because you take down the two sons, won't stop the kingdom's army from coming after you. The generals, the governors, the kingdom's army will still be trying to take you down. Oberon. Oh, Oberon. <laughs> you make a good point. A new plan then. What we'll is your capture plan, the then? younger son. We'll capture the younger son, Edmund, and we'll bring him back here alive. Oh, I get it. Do you really? No. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll capture Edmund, bring him back here, then William will do whatever we want. 
Because if he doesn't, you'll tickle Edmund. Ah, Oberon, no, he'll be gone. <laughs> oh, that makes more sense. Don't worry, my lord. I'll send our minions to go capture Edmund the next time he is out and about. You? The only thing you can catch is a cold. Hey, I didn't catch one last winter. Come on, give me a chance. Please, please, pretty, please. Oh, please, well, pretty, please. Fine. Capture Edmund. Bring him back here alive the next time he's out and about. Gather the minions. Yes, sir. Consider it done. All right. You better hurry up and Oberon. If you fail this mission, you're done, 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 done. Gulp. Did you just gulp? No. You just said the word gulp. No. Ah, just go. Yes, my lord. Ah. The kingdom of light shall be mine. <coughs> oh, before I go, do you have a weapon I can borrow or? Oh. Take this. Whoa, whoa, easy. Didn't your mom teach you not to throw swords at people? That's dangerous. Uh, just go. Get out of here. <sighs> You're coming up. <sighs> oh, boy. Minions. Come on, you lazy bones. Move it. We're just counting on us. Where's that fool headed? He's headed in the wrong direction. Oh, wait, guys, it's that way. Oh. I still can't believe I hired that fool. I think I have a food coma. I ate way too much. Ugh. Yeah, because you ate four slices of pies. What? Is that a lot? I could eat like 30. Thomas, that's way too much. But it's just so good. The pie just melting in my mouth. <sighs> William, can you please tell your mom to make some more? Please, pretty please, please. Yes, of course. But. Guys, it feels so good to be together again, like the good old days. Yeah, and so much has changed too. Yeah, seriously. I mean, you're becoming king tomorrow. It's coming faster than any of us thought. Yeah, I'm just shocked as you guys are. Your Majesty. Hey, bro, oh, stop that. Oh. Oh. Wait, guys, I think I got a little bit too fat. I can't get up. Oh, oh. Oh. Come on, Thomas. Hey, Will, so are you nervous about becoming the king at all? Well, yes, of course I am. There's so much responsibilities and so much pressure. I'm not even sure how dad did it. Hey, don't worry, bro. We're all here to support you, right, guys? Yes, yeah, sir. if you ever need help or advice, we got your back. <sighs> Thanks, guys. I really appreciate having you guys as my friends. <sighs> well, guys. I guess this is it. Hold up. Yeah. Uh, duty calls. Wait, you're working tonight? No, I just really gotta go poop. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're staying at a place nearby, but we'll be back in the morning. Man, it was so great seeing you guys. Hey, we should totally make plans to visit your academy after Will becomes king. Yeah, we should. Our friends at the academy don't believe that we're friends with the future king. Dude, they think... Oh. <sighs> Dude, they think I'm a crazy person. Well, sometimes you are a bit crazy. <laughs> uh, I guess you're right. Well, we'll see you guys. Good night, your majesty. Bye. Bye. Be safe. Bye. We'll see you soon at the palace. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Alex, come on. Dude, I just really got to go poop. Oh. oh God. <laughs> hey, Will. You should get some rest, too. You got a big day tomorrow. Yeah, I'll try to. So should we head back? Yeah, let's head back. What was that? I don't know. Uh, Thomas and Alice, is that you? 
well, 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 look who we have here. The future king of Evalor and his loyal brother. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Obron, a loyal servant of Morgan, and I've been sent here to take you by the orders of our leader. M m me? No, you're not taking my brother anywhere. <laughs> oh, really? You think you can stop all of us by yourself? How dare you point your sword at us? <laughs> Let's go. No, Edmund. Bro, just get out of here. No. No, Edmund, I can't, I can't leave you. Just go, I'll fight them off. No, you're my little bro. I can't just leave you. Listen, Will, if they capture you, then the whole kingdom will suffer. You have to go, go now. Edmund, Edmund, I'll come back for you no matter what happens. Well, 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 looks like you're all alone, boy. You're making a huge mistake. <laughs> we'll see about that. Come on, let's go show Mordred. Let me go. Let me go. Get off me. Well, 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 how amazing was it? Hey, Toontown! Are you guys excited for Toontown? Wow, there's so many of you guys are here. Wow, I can't even see the end of it. How, was, how good was the drama? It was so fun. Are you not entertained? Oh, gosh. I can't wait. It's just a first day, first morning. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the afternoon. What kind of drama is going to be there? What kind of action is going to be there? It's going to be exciting. Well, my name is Alex, and I will be, hello, guys. I will be sharing message during Toontown. Well, if it is your first time in Toontown, welcome. And I'll be sharing about some Bible message it will be an amazing time. But before we start, what is the theme of this year's Toontown? Yeah. It is Toontown. Yeah. Toontown. Yeah. Toontown. Yeah. Wow. For four days, we will study the study of the book of Ephesians. It's a letter of Paul. And Paul writes this letter to this little city called Ephesus. While Paul was writing this letter, he was in a prison for sharing about Jesus. But Paul tells the people, Christians in Ephesus, not to lose hope and keep their faith because there is a fierce battle that you and I need to prepare. And some of you might think, what kind of battle is this? Is this some kind of word that we see on TV or movie or computer games? No, it's actually way more. It's a spiritual battle. And we are going to read from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 11. Can we read it together, guys? Tough crowd. It's okay. Can we read it in one voice? Verse 10 through 11. One, two, three. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. Amen. Well, the Bible is very clear that there is a battle against darkness of the world. Yes, a constant battle between good and evil. So I thought about a battle and I thought about what should I prepare if I'm fighting in a battle 
So, you know what? This morning, I got up early. I was super excited for Toontown. I started packing my backpack. And I was like, what would I need for the battle? First, you would need a water bottle, right? You need to save environment, and you need to hydrate yourself. That's what I think. Second, you might need sunscreen. Because, you know, you might be outside all day and, you know, you don't want to get tan, you know. That's some of the things that I was thinking. Oh, and you know what? You know, if you're outside, sometimes we can get bored. So we need comic books. Like Captain Underpants and Dogman. No? Hmm. Yes. Maybe, maybe some of us need hat to block the sun from shining my eyes. Oh, and speaking of sunshine, we need shades. Am I prepared for a battle? No? Really? I thought, I thought I prepared enough. But you know what? I would need more than that, right? I would need more than that. So, a soldier going into the battle, they need a protection. They need to protect themselves from the attack of the enemy. Right? So if we are going into a battle, we need a protection for ourselves. And God has given us everything that we need to protect ourselves from the attack of the enemy, which is the armor of God. If you think about the armors of God, maybe you've seen on the wall decoration, there are a lot of things that we can prepare. I know some of you said, sword. Some of you might think shield, like Captain America, or helmet, or breastplate, or nice shoes. But Paul mentions this one thing as the very first thing. It must be really important, isn't it? Out of all those things, the very first thing that Paul mentions is the belt. The belt of truth. You know, belt is incredible invention. It actually, what does belt do? It keeps your pants uh, tucked in and hold tight, right? When I, when I was in middle school, when I was a seventh grade, this is real story. I can't make this up. I was in a school. We were in a PE class. I was wearing a t-shirt. Everyone was wearing shorts. And we were running around the gym like this looking gym. We were running running and one of my mean friends snuck up behind me. He pulled on my shorts for everyone. And I was like putting my shorts up and I was crying. I was so embarrassed because there were other girls and other friends were laughing at me. I was so upset. I told my teacher and I was like, oh, the friend made me show my underwear, right? I was so upset. Belt keeps your pants up. But in a battle for the soldiers, there is one more reason that might be more important. You know what it is? The belt, shh, the belt keeps things around you, so close to you. So you can put your sword, you can put your water bottle, you can put your snacks. So whenever you need something, you don't have to run to your room, bring it back, or you don't have to go through the back searching for the item that you need, but you can actually take it out right away. That's the tool. That's the reason why soldiers wore the belt. And Paul says, you need to wear the belt of truth. What does this mean? You have to wrap yourself around the truth of God. That's really, really important. Why? Because the Bible teaches us the devil, the enemy is full of lies. It's going to lie to you. It's going to trick you. Its main goal is for you to fall down and cry and embarrass and not knowing what to do. So Paul says you need to wear the armor of God to protect yourself from the lies of the enemy. And especially 
you need the belt of truth to protect yourself and to know what is actually right and to know what is really a truth from God, not the lies of the enemy. That is very, very important. The enemy lies, but God teaches you, tells you the truth about yourself. The world might tell you what you are not, but God tells you how much you are loved. God tells you how excited he is for you, how good he is, how good you are. That's why we need the belt of truth. You know, in the Bible, there are a lot of characters. Who are some of, the fav who are some of your favorite characters in the Bible? David? Jonah? Peaches? Peter. Okay, I thought someone said Peaches. I'm like, that's Super Mario. Esther. There's so many, shh, there's so many people. It's a wrong idea to ask for an opinion, guys. I learned. I learned. It's my first in town. But, but there are many characters who were the armor of God each day. And you know why? You and I. God is calling someone ordinary like me, a normal person like me and you guys to wear the armor of God and stand strong in the truth. Because, yes, some of you might be worrying right now. Pastor Alex, I'm scared of the battle. I don't like to fight. I'm just a first grader or second grader. I don't want to do this. I'm a peaceful person. You don't have to worry about it because, you know, the battle, the war is already won. Because God is victorious and whoever is in God's army will achieve victory. You don't have to worry about it. The end result of this spiritual battle is victory. But while you are in a battle, Paul is telling us to wear the armor of God. And then you will achieve a victory. And for four days in Toontown, we're going to learn about each part of the armor of God. Are you guys excited to learn each one each day? I hope you're excited. Well, today I have one phrase that I, we are going to shout out together. And then we are going to be praying and singing one more song. And we're going to be dismissed to your uh, activities. But we're going to read this. But we're not going to read it quietly. We're going to proclaim it and shout it out. Can we do that? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Victory comes when I speak the truth. Let's do it one more time. Victory comes when I speak the truth. Amen. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your amazing love and grace. God, I pray that you would uh, be in this tune town and also speak to every single children who are here. I pray that we are going to have so much fun, but also stay safe. That all of us, including leaders and the pastors and the parents and the children, will have a blast in this tune town. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people say, Amen. 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 Girls and boys, victory comes when we speak the truth. And so at this place, we're going to sing one more song together. We're going to say, God, you are more, you are more than words will ever say. You are God and the world will proclaim. You are true, you are love and you are joy. So will you join me for this worship song? You're more. You are peace, Lord, you are peace. You 
no other name but the name of Jesus. 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 Let's sing, my heart will sing. My heart will sing. No other name. No other but name. But the name of our God, King Jesus. 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 My heart will sing. My heart will sing. No other name. No other name. In the name of Jesus. 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 Trust, trust, you alone. We will trust, trust in God. 
guys are good to go. Third grade, I'm going to have you guys go this way and exit. We'll see you after your station. Have fun. Second graders, if you want to go ahead and exit out this way and head on out, you guys are free to go. Second grade, let's exit this way. We'll see you after.